Hello, hello, hello. Phil Baumgart here, a.k.a. Dr. Phil. Got a bit of a frog in my throat and uh, probably can't make out much. It is nighttime. I'm in Hermitage, Tennessee, and we are on Trenton Drive. You can see the, the McDonald's on Lebanon Road right there, uh, public shopping center. I forget the name of it. So anyway, um, it is probably 9.15 at night. There's just some days where we do not stop, but I am uh, here in Hermitage walking through a home that went to auction the other day, and nobody freaking showed up at the auction, and uh, not even me. And I usually try to get to all of them because that's the scenario you want to be in is when nobody else shows up at the auction. Um, so anyhow, I had won a property from these people, a, a different property. It's actually the West Valley uh, the West Valley property that you've seen on my site recently. Um, I won that property from these folks and I was doing some things with that property and they mentioned that this property uh, had had the auction and then nobody showed up. It was a reserve auction and if you don't know, a reserve auction means that whatever the, the winning bid is on the property, um, is not necessarily accepted by the seller. The seller has the opportunity to consider the winning bid and decide if they want to keep the results or if they uh, want to not honor that and try to look for some other means of selling the property. And because of that, a lot of investors, excuse me, a lot of investors don't go to the reserve auctions, and that's what happened in this case. Well, so I'm talking to the auction company, and they described the house that it was a larger home uh, in Hermitage, and uh, her in our experience, Hermitage houses sell pretty quick, and they sell for a little more than uh, some of the other areas that we work in all the time. So we like Hermitage. In fact, uh, our team uh, recently sold three or four properties right here in Hermitage, and so I asked, hey, what do you think we could get the house for? And they gave me a pretty low number. So I said, well, this is probably something that we do want to go out and take a look at. So anyway, um, he did not have a lockbox on it. So I actually went to the company today. Uh, he threw a key at me. And here I am running through this uh, just to try to save some time for tomorrow. And, of course, uh, my partner, Paul, and the rest of my team, they will all be looking at this video and deciding uh, what the renovation budget and so on is in this property. So that's a rather long introduction to this house. So, anyway, I just wanted to explain what I'm doing here and why I'm here so freaking late in the night. But here I am, freaking late in the night because uh, we just want to try to move fast and I always want to offer as many properties to my wholesale buyers and to my team as I can, as quickly as I can. Um, elegant looking house. We, in fact, we just sold one literally right around the corner from here that has the same exterior design for, I think, $164,000. Um, I think that house might have been a little bigger than this one or a little, definitely a different design. Um, than this one. So, as you can see here, uh, this house has a lot of mold down here. Now, we happen to love mold. Mold is like our best friend, and um, for some reason, mold doesn't seem to grow on paneling. See that? But over here, where there's sheet rock, there we have plenty of mold. Nice, good old yummy, yummy black stuff there. Let me give that a taste. You know, what do you think there? Didn't even stick to my finger, you know. I don't know. Ah, it's not bad, see? So, anyhow, there's mold. I think what happened, actually, is that this house, you can see that all of the mold lines are at about the same height. So, I believe this property was probably affected by the 2010 flood and never remediated since then. Um, you can see a bunch of it under here, but I think that's because this water is just dripping away and running down this wall. Yeah. So, 
and that's what's going on there. But yeah, this is probably was affected by the flood, so we would need to strip out um, all of that sheetrock down there, but it's not a big deal, not a lot of work to do. Uh, that might be the, the worst of it right here in this utility room. So there's your mechanicals. They were probably not affected by the flood, and all of that's probably fine because it's up a ways there. So anyhow, uh, so let's talk about the property. We've got four bedrooms, two full baths, and ah, there's some good stuff. So we've got four bedrooms, two full baths, and about 1,850 square feet. So it's a it's a larger home and uh, primed and ready to be renovated. Um, the last time we did this style, we just knocked out this entire wall right here between the living room and the kitchen. That really makes these a really beautiful floor plan and a nice place to live. So uh, just revisiting. So we got one, two, three. Actually, this is a five, actually a five bedroom house because there's two more bedrooms downstairs. Uh, so anyway, five bedrooms, two baths, 1,800 square feet. Uh, we'll be figuring out our offer and hopefully getting a good price on this. All right. Thank you, everyone. Talk to you later.